Baby bow business. Roll one eight, take one, mark. What's going on guys? Anna and Paulo here. And we wanted to document the beginning of our uh, bow business. It's called Chic by A. And we just started about what, honey? Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I got back from Brazil and we started. We got our bows in. They're homemade. About Are, like what, 800 of them? Does homemade even sound like, I feel like homemade handmade. sounds like. Handmade. Handmade. better, yeah. I was thinking homemade, like homemade <laughs> cookies or something. Handmade, yeah. They're so cute. They're called Chic by A. Um, let's first let's start with uh, where we are in the business. So uh, how many sales have we gotten so far about three? Three sales three and sales. how many bows in those three sales? Probably about like 20. Okay, so we just total. sold our first 20 bows. That's it We just started this business and we wanted to document because you never know what's gonna happen uh, with these things So yeah, uh, everybody's loving it. We're the only ones here in Orlando uh, that are actually like doing it actually you know going to people's houses. Well, I'm sure houses. there's like more people that do it, but like I don't know our target Demographic mm. like we're pretty much the only ones that do this type of service We also sell on Etsy, but our Etsy shop is closed right now because we're like updating it and we're putting everything on it stuff yeah. We're also gonna be on eBay, Amazon, Facebook, Marketplace, and all that. I eventually. Wanna, eventually, I want to take this into an e-commerce. Hopefully, you know, not hopefully. We will make this into an e-commerce uh, in the future. Have everything catalog where you can order online, shipping, all that. Have platforms and everything. Right now, we're just using uh, social media networks to advertise it and to produce sales too, because people are commenting and sending direct messages, and then we meet them at their house, like we're doing today. Yeah. We're going to someone's house. That's what we're doing right now. Um, to show the bows. Yeah. We keep them in like a huge luggage thing, which for now it works, but we're going to have to figure out. Jeez. Got to start somewhere, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that looks ratchet. I know. <laughs> That's where we keep the bows, but hey. There's like boxes inside. Like it doesn't look as ratchet. Like I don't open that up and there's like bows popping yeah. everywhere. No, there's like, they're like separated into like boxes and stuff. They're like pretty organized in there. But what I was gonna say is, well, we're getting a lot more in, and we have to think of like a better idea of like how to store them and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's the first steps of the bow empire or the e-commerce empire. Huge right here, it's like growing. Mm, I got a few that I took care of already. This is not one. This is not one of them. It's already got. Oh no, yeah, it's right there. All right, guys, so that's it for this video on our journey for entrepreneurship. Oh, true entrepreneurship. Yeah, that's it. I just dropped Paulo off at home right now, and he was supposed to come with me to um, sell these bows. Right now I'm going to someone's house because she wants to see the bows, but he couldn't. He usually comes with me. I don't know why. He just usually does. He's like my finance guy. And um, he's there to like take pictures and stuff for like Instagram and whatnot, but he couldn't, he had to, some stuff to do at his house, so like last minute he's like, I'm just gonna stay and do what I have to do, he had to do like some stuff on the computer, and I'm gonna need the computer later on tonight, so he's like, I'll just stay, you go, and then see me later on, so that's what I'm doing right now, it's raining, so the traffic is kind of annoying, I'm like already late, which like kind of frustrated me, because I like to be on time, that's beside the point. Well, I don't like when things like get out of my control. Like I had planned this and everything was supposed to go smoothly and then like traffic gets in the way, which I usually take into account traffic. I'm not late yet, but I will be a couple minutes late, most likely so, but that's fine. So I'm about 16 minutes late. I am like at the intersection right before the house that I'm supposed to be at. So I'm pretty close. Like, traffic's bad. Like, when I say traffic is bad, oh, yay, the light just turned green. All right, I'm pulling into her, her neighborhood. Okay, 7449. Let's see. Oh, found it. Okay, it's on my left. Okay, it's raining just a little bit. There's a watermelon in my car. The bag. Let's go in. So, uh, 
very exciting news she bought more than I expect more than blah, 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 blah. more than I expected most of the time when I go to these homes like I, my expectations are like very low I don't plan them to like splurge or anything but she like really splurged and that made my heart happy obviously um, and my bank account happy <laughs> but I'm on my way home right now I'm gonna go to Paula's house get the computer I don't know if I'll hang out there for a little bit probably not because I have school work to do um, but that's it we got this guy pumping gas before we go home. Home, not home, but to my house. Look at him. Look at him typing in the pen. Hey, I just freaked out for a second. Nobody wants 93 grade gas. Almost. You distracted me. I freaked out. That's the end of our first vlog, That's right? Enough. So we sold bows today and we put gas and that's about it. Well, that was more of like our night. Cool. But stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you soon. Bye.